My name is Joe Wright. I'm a messenger from First Baptist Church of Dyersburg, Tennessee, and I move that the convention adopt resolution number three entitled on sexual abuse of children. You can find a printed copy of this resolution in your SBC bulletin for today on page eight. Question on the adoption of resolution number three. Are you ready for the question? We want to recognize microphone 8A for an amendment. Yes, sir, Mr. President. My name is Peter Lumpkins. I am a messenger from Waco, Georgia, and I would like to move to amend resolution number three. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, beginning in the last, next to the last paragraph, to strike the word finally and then insert this paragraph resolved that we encourage all denominational leaders and employees of the Southern Baptist Convention to utilize the highest sense of discernment in affiliating with groups and or individuals that possess questionable policy and practices in protecting our children from criminal abuse. And if I can get a second, I'd like to speak to that. Is there a second to that amendment? Second. Ask him first of all, could he send a copy of that? Brother, can you first of all send a copy of that amendment to the platform? Yes, sir, it's up there. Okay, we already have it. Okay. Okay, you may speak to it at this time. Thank you, Mr. President. I want to first of all encourage the Resolutions Committee, led by Dr. Lemke. You've done a very good job, and I appreciate that. I appreciate that this resolution has come at such a time as this. There's no greater time in the history of evangelicalism and Southern Baptists particularly, that we need a strong resolution about child abuse. And this resolution speaks strongly to that. However, I think it needs to be stronger. In the resolution, we encourage churches to set policies and procedures. We know that we can't make them do this because of the autonomy of the local church, but we can encourage them to do that. We also encourage pastors and leaders in the local church to, to uh, discern and be on the forefront of this particular issue. However, I think we ought to also encourage all of our denominational employees and our leaders to have a high sense of discernment about this issue. If this is all about the protection of children, it's not about personality, it's not about groups, it's not about anything like that. And Southern Baptists need to make a strong statement in this culture about child abuse. Okay, thank you, sir. We appreciate it. Does a member of the Resolution Committee wish to speak to the amendment? The sentiment you're expressing, and certainly uh, we would not want any uh, denominational leader or employee to uh, be in any way affirming of anything uh, involving sexual abuse. I, um, I think the committee would oppose the amendment in that um, uh, certainly you could have churches or other ministries who uh, have uh, persons, uh, unfortunately, who commit sexual abuse. We don't want to remove fellowship with those churches or those ministries. We want to seek reconciliation and, and addressing the problem as is noted uh, in the resolutions. All fellowship uh, from a group uh, simply because this tragedy takes place, but certainly we would want to address it in every way possible. Ask 
Microphone 10A, do you wish to speak for the amendment? Yes, sir, I do. Okay, you may speak for the amendment. Yes, my name is Tim Rogers. I'm pastor messenger of Ebenezer Baptist Church. Um, I would like to speak for this amendment and humbly ask the um, committee to uh, rethink their position against the amendment. I'm not at, at an advantage of having the amendment before me, but I don't believe there was anything in the amendment that said anything about withdrawing fellowship from anybody. Um, the amendment is merely encouraging our entities, our leaders, and even our trustees to oversee these uh, ministry affiliations and partnerships that are addressing issues with known um, uh, people who are in high standing, but for some reason, whatever the charge is, uh, they have got a charge leveled against them. I recently addressed this within my own church where we had to ask a deacon to step down until the charges could be uh, uh, worked through the court system. And once they were worked through the court system, then we were able to move forward from that. This is all I understand this amendment doing. So I am in for, in for this amendment. I'm in favor of trying to look after our children and protect our children the best way we can. This is no different than the Penn State issue where there was one there and nobody said a word about it and kept trying to push it under the rug. We have an encouragement for pastors. We have an encouragement for churches. Where is our encouragement for the denominational leaders and employees and trustees to maintain this high standard? Thank you, sir. Microphone 9A, do you wish to speak against the amendment? Yes, I do. Okay. Please speak at this time. Give your name and church. For you. Scott Gordon, messenger of Claycoma Baptist Church, Kansas City, Missouri. All right. I wish to speak against this amendment because I believe it uh, goes beyond the scope of the resolution as it stands. I believe that it is an encouragement to the local church and pastor, and I think to keep it in that area of encouragement, we should vote against this amendment. Ask, is there any further discussion on the amendment? Is there any further discussion on this particular amendment? Okay, our recording secretary, Dr. Yates, will once again read the amendment. Please listen well. Resolved that we encourage all denominational leaders and employees of the Southern Baptist Convention to utilize the highest sense of discernment in affiliating with groups and our individuals that possess questionable policies and practices in protecting our children from criminal abuse. Thank you, Dr. Yates. The question now is on amending resolution number three. Those in favor of the amendment, please raise your ballots at this time. Continue to hold them, please. Okay, you may lower your ballots. Those who oppose the amendment, please raise your ballots. You may lower your ballots, I'm sorry. The affirmative has it, and the amendment has been adopted. Thank you very much. Microphone 2A, does your amendment uh, pertain to uh, resolution number three? 
Microphone 2A. Is your amendment referred to resolution number three? Microphone 8A. Does your uh, amendment refer to resolution number three? Yes, it does. Okay. Okay, you may speak to it. Please give your name, your church name, and your amendment. Bob Cleveland, First Baptist Church, Pelham, Alabama. Uh, the problem with this that I see is that the left-hand resolve at the bottom of the page says that we are to report child abuse. That makes it mandatory that the church determine whether child abuse occurred. I think we should amend it to read their legal and moral responsibility to report any accusations of child abuse. Sir, please. Uh, where it reads, uh, let me find it, moral responsibility to report any child abuse to authorities. Okay. Uh, add the word, any accusations of child abuse. Okay. Thank you very much. Does a member of the Resolutions Committee want to wish to speak to this amendment? Just please give them a moment. This issue was discussed at length in our committee meeting, and the highest priority was the safety of children and the protection of them from any kind of abuse. Uh, we do have a concern that we use any language that would hinder us or set a situation from caring for children. So the committee has decided that in regard for this amendment, we receive it in a favorable light and we would support it. Uh, messengers, uh, the committee would like to be in favor of the amendment adding the words report any accusation of child abuse. If you are in favor of this amendment by adding that word, please raise your ballots at this time. Or them. Any opposed to adding this word, please raise your ballot. All right. The affirmative has it, and the resolution has been amended. Thank you very much. And ask uh, 3A if he wishes to speak in favor of resolution 3. 3A, would you like to speak in favor of resolution number 3? Yes. All right. Please give your name, church, and Wiley Drake, First Southern Baptist Church of Buena Park, California. I move the previous question. I think we've discussed it long enough. Is there a second? <laughs> Is there a second? All right. If you wish to vote immediately, will you please raise your ballots? Okay, lower your ballots. If you would not like to vote immediately, will you please raise your ballots? There are two-thirds of the affirmative, and the previous question is ordered. Now the question is on resolution three All right. as amended. Now the question is on resolution number three as amended. 
If you are in favor of resolution number three as amended, will you please raise your ballots? All right, please lower your ballots. If you oppose the resolution number three, will you please raise your ballots? Okay. The affirmative has it. Resolution number three has been approved. Mr. President, I'm Galen Wendell Jones from Winder, Georgia. I move that the convention adopt resolution number four on human trafficking. See your SBC bulletin, page number.